Hey everyone, we're up here at our cabin. I am Sam with Snow Groomers, and we're gonna show you how to set up and use your snow groomer. So we're gonna kind of run through everything from getting the right angle, some of the options for the adjustment, and just a few tips and tricks that I've learned over the years of grooming. And so this is our Sowmaster 48. All right, so the first thing you do is you got to pick out what hitch you want. So depending on the machine, also depends on which hitch you have. We have the standard pin type. You can get this in a straight, like you see right here, and then also in a three or five inch drop offset. Then the next one is the ream. So this is for a hook, like a pintle hook. Same thing, you get them straight, you can get a three inch or a five inch offset. So the goal is, once you hook it up here, for example, we have our universal hitch mount that allows you to hitch to a standard pin coupler that you would see on a lot of snowmobiles. So it mounts underneath the ball and then it hooks straight up. So the, if you notice, we're trying to get the draw bars as level as possible. So that's first step is to make sure that you are as level as possible with your draw bars. Cause then if they're not, if they're, if they're too high up, then you're gonna mess up your you're grooming and you're putting too much pressure on the back of the uh, the back of the snow groomer and you can get uh, what they call a bounce or you know a little bit of a chatter or if you're too low same thing as then you won't groom and put any weight on the back because your front of your chassis is going too far forward so you want this as level as possible and you can get like a for that example with the UTV we have just a a standard hitch, hitch extension this is like 17 18 inches and then we just have a little bit of a drop so this is a couple inches of a drop to be able to get a nice level drop bar so this has a snow razor blade on it and so that's the other reason you want it to be as level as possible if you're too high the razor won't work and you have to drop this down too low and then it puts too much pressure on your snow razor as you groom so you want it to, to be able to have you know to land when it's down in the snow, somewhere in between there, when it's cut. And then the next step is leveling the chassis. So you want the chassis, which is back here. This is what this is called. So this is the chassis or the compaction pan, and you want it to be as level as possible as well. Um, in fact, typically you want it to be one or two degrees pitched up in the front. Um, if, it's, if it's pitched too far, uh, far down in the front, you won't get any corduroy and it won't pack. And if you're pitched too far up, like I mentioned, you'll get chatter and it'll bounce. So you want it to be as level as possible. And so now you have some adjustments right here. So this is attached right here to the front of the chassis. And you have a few whole different holes to be able to move that up and down. We give you a angle base indicator to be able to put on here and it's magnetic so it'll sit right here to tell you what your degree of your pitch is on your chassis so that's provided in the uh, hardware set with all of our kits that we send out so once you get that level you can move these up and down to get that nice and level and then typically for me usually when i'm towing with this machine i'm in the third position sometimes i go up to the second position here but mostly i'm in the third um, so it just depends on how tall your machine is on the back. For example, like our, our Scandic that we have is actually got a higher hitch than what's here on our Can-Am Defender. So we use an offset, either the three or the five inch offset to drop down to get a more level and uh, level chassis and level pan. Now, typically if you, can, if you can get this chassis set up correctly and also the draw bars level, you can really just use the offset so typically, you know, if you have, uh, you know, a different hitch that can go up and down for your UTV, you can use that to adjust it, or you can order our offset, you know, pin coupler or a ring coupler um, as well from our website. So we do offer these right on our website. And then the next thing is right here. So right at the moment, um, we have sandbags in the back of our chassis. On the very back of these, it'll come with some some finger screws that you can actually unscrew or screw out it does allow you to put in blocks and that's what this is built for and so you can put blocks in there 
and also we're just using sandbags because that's what we have up at the cabin. So the next thing is the wheel kit. So here's the wheel kit here. It's in the out of the way position. And you know if your chassis is sitting too high, your tires will hit and you'll see tire marks in the back. Essentially, you just have a pin here, you drop it down and it lifts the whole snow groomer up off the ground. This allows you to get it over any snow, non-snow surfaces and then also allows you to reverse because the problem is, is if you decide that you want it to reverse and you don't have the wheel kit, sometimes you jam snow underneath these combs and can cause damage. So we don't recommend reversing it without a wheel kit. And then since I have weight in it, I gotta get a little bit more arm strength there. And this is what we call a full sided tow bar. So we have multiple tow bar options to pull a tracker to set in classic tracks. So the full tow bar is really nice because it allows you to easily switch from the left side to the right side. And also we have this in the middle as well. So you can put tracks on that side, this side or in the middle. Now, generally some of our packages, like our Park Ranger Special, just comes with a chassis mounted tow hitch because it doesn't have to, you don't have a wheel kit with the Park Ranger Special. So uh, the Park Ranger Special will just be hooked right there and it's a, a single sided tow bar as well if you wanted to get a wheel kit where it's just on one side. So we have a chassis mounted hitch, single sided tow bar hitch and the full sided tow bar hitch to pull the caboose and so forth. And sometimes we even hook up because it's a standard pin type, like we'll hook up our, our ice fishing sled as well to tow extra gear if we need to. So the Razor has a full adjustment here and they're just done by a handle. So you loosen them both up and then you can drop it down to the desired length. We have an entire video on how to use the Razor. Basically, you don't want it to, you don't want it to dig, you want it to cut. So a lot of times I just put it right on the top of the surface and see how it's cut. And then when it, you want it up out of the way, you just pull it up, tighten it up and really crank down on that. Sometimes you can grab the, the middle of the, the blade down here and pull it up really easily. So some tips and tricks while you're grooming. Um, when it's nice fresh snow, obviously you don't need to use the snow razor uh, if it's deep enough. Sometimes when it's only, you know, an inch or two, a lot of times I'll use the snow razor still to kind of cut down into the snow to get a little bit of fresh snow to really get a nice corduroy out the back. But right now it looks like we have enough snow that I don't have to use the razor unless I find some bumps or ruts that I need to fill in. So, and then the other thing, another tip is to be able to groom right before it gets dark. And so if you groom right before it gets dark, the snow's a little bit warmer and you can go and lay down a nice corduroy and then it sets up and freezes at night. And then you can walk on it. For example, like this has all been groomed here at the cabin, but if I step off, you step down in the snow and it's, you sink in. So it's really nice to be able to come packed and compress your snow, to be able to just work off of, you know, ski on and have a lot of fun. So if you guys have any questions, you can call or chat with us at any time or go to visit us at snowgroomers.net. Thanks for watching, or you're also welcome to hit us up in the comments below. And if you love snow grooming like we do, don't forget to hit that subscription button. We got a ton of more uh, snow grooming content on the way. Thanks for watching, guys.